I'm in downtown Kent right now in a city park. More on this in a minute. But the whole Kent Valley is becoming a bigger and bigger center for space. At Spaceflight, what we want to do is make sure that we have solutions for all of our customers. Tony Frigo was the mission director for these two spacecraft called Sherpas. Think of Spaceflight as being in the rideshare business. These two Sherpas will go into space this summer aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. And attached to the Sherpa are these high-tech boxes, some just the size of a loaf of bread, that will distribute satellites, many of them small, at the right time into the right orbit. About 36 customers total, six microsats, which are kind of larger, uh, larger spacecraft. Satellites that follow ships at sea to monitoring the weather and a lot more. Four inch ring. One of those Sherpas below, will now use electric see. propulsion rather than fuel, which can be hazardous to work around as the spacecraft is prepared. So the electric propulsion satellites uh, really will give you an increased lifetime in orbit. Spaceflight is relatively small but growing. It employs 55 people in Auburn. And the people building spacecraft need suppliers who employ more people. Frederick Ehrlich. What we're looking at here is a internally designed product that was machined here in uh, King County in Washington State. And this is going to space. Kent, Auburn, Tukwila, and other cities connected along Highway 167 play host to a wide variety of companies, from Boeing's pioneer space work on the Apollo missions to the moon to Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin. There's real employment happening today in the space industry. Bill Ellis is Kent's economic development officer. Uh, we have about half of all the state's space employment. That's about 5,500 space jobs just in the city of Kent. And starting in 2022, Kent intends to convert this park into a space park, giving a boost to the imagination of kids who could see themselves taking jobs that are out of this world. So who knows, will this park, when it's finished, inspire the next space entrepreneur? We'll have to wait to find out. In the Kent Valley, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.